So, um, the hurricane's coming, and, uh, this is outside my bedroom window. Look at that tree. It's the only thing I'm worried about right now. There's a plastic bag. I don't know how that got there. There was nothing in there, I can assure you. Um, but this is what we have to deal with down here on these gigantic trees falling. And I don't know. If it fell, if that thing fell on us now, it would crush this bedroom. And we have a concrete block house. It would crush this bedroom, probably continue through the top of the house, crush entirely the top of the house. Uh, the concrete wall, this is all from the last hurricane. All this mess here and that tree there. Let's see if you can see. Uh, you can't see it very well. Top half of that tree is broke off, fallen here. That tree fell. It's never been cut. The best possibility of survival is to be on the front side of the house where it has to hit a second concrete wall. And um, we've already had pieces of this one. <clears throat> That piece right there fell and busted my tabletop. And there's another piece on the other side of the tree. And whatever. We might survive. But that's a big son of a bitch right there. It's fat. I don't have a tape measure with me, but uh, it's got to be. Eight, nine feet around, something. So, you can't see it, but under that, <clears throat> that foliage, let's just call it, there's a tree under there, the top half of that tree. And, uh, that vine killed it. And, um, Uh, I'm gonna cut all that mess out of here. Might just burn it. Tell the fire department somebody arson my backyard. <laughs> but anyway. You gotta watch this thing. If it comes down, I'm gonna be looking for a place to live. Yeah. Oh, it's gigantic. This is my little, a little abode, right out my bedroom window. Look at, <laughs> it's crazy.